To fulfill another request, here's a video showing how to set up an image gallery that uh, works so that as you click on each image, then uh, the image on the right um, switches and then sticks on the image that you've selected. So in this case, we're going to again use the jQuery UI to swap classes so that when you <clears throat> click on an image, the class of the uh, div that we're showing over here on the right changes and we get a new background image. So let's switch over to our HTML and see how things are set up. So here we have a div with an ID of gallery that contains a bunch of images, each of which have their own ID and their own alt tags and their own links. And these are to thumbnail versions of each of the images. And then down below that we have a new div uh, that really is just empty at the moment. And then up at the top we're linking to a style sheet and then we're also linking to the jQuery UI library which is set up as a JavaScript file that we are keeping on our own um, website right here. Okay, so let's switch over and look at our CSS. And here you see that we're styling our gallery div with a width of 250 pixels floated left. Within that gallery we have our thumbnail images, each of which is 100 pixels wide with a margin of 10 pixels. And then we have our empty div with an ID of full size. We're floating that one left as well so that it butts up over um, next to the gallery. And we're giving this a width of 500 pixels, a height of 400, a margin of 10 pixels, and a background size that's set to contain so that whatever background image we put in here just fits the whole thing in. And that way we aren't too concerned about getting the height just right. Then we have a whole bunch of classes that we're going to switch between. And with each class we're going to have a different background image. And we're going to have the full size image basically showing up in the background of our full size div. So this is an ID. So we have an, an ID of full size on this div down here at the bottom of the page. And we also have a class, and it's the class that we're going to swap. So here you see we have a bunch of classes, and each of these classes has a different image. Okay, so I'll spare you watching me type in the whole script that we're going to use to make this happen. I'm going to copy and paste it. In reality, it took a fair amount of time to figure out what was going to work here. So you get to see it after it's all been said and done. So I'm adding in a script element here, opening script tag, closing script tag. And here's what this script is doing. So this is using jQuery and it's waiting until the document is ready to be manipulated and then it's setting up a function. And what that function is doing is it's saying that for each image when you click it then trigger this function. Um, this function wants uh, here's what's happening in this function. It's going to set up a variable of new class and it's going to pull um, from the, attrib the attribute of the ID that we just clicked, or the image, it's going to pull from the ID here, uh, the attribute. It's also going to get the old class of the full-sized div, so this down here. It's going to pull from that the class attribute, so I've got two variables, one that's storing um, the ID of the image that I've clicked, and one that's storing the attribute or the existing attribute of the full-sized div. So with those two variables in place, then I run another function that um, basically I do a fade out function on the full size div and I remove the old class. So the old class is what I've pulled out here for this variable. So I just reference that variable and that grabs the old class that was stored in this full size div. And then I pop in another function from the jQuery uh, library of add class and I reference the variable of new class here 
which I'm taking from the ID of the image that I just clicked. So in this case, the ID of the images matches the classes that I've set up in my CSS. So I can add a class of um, basically of uh, the ID that matches the, the class in my CSS. Then I do a little fade in command to make it switch over and add that new class slowly. All right, so in short, what we're doing is um, when we click on an image, we're just swapping out the old class in this full size div for a new class. And we're using the IDs and a little bit of jQuery to figure out what the old class is and what the new class should be. And then when we swap the class, then we get a different background image. All right, so let's just go ahead and save. Let's save our image swap.html file. And we'll come over and refresh this page. And let's get a good hard refresh. Then as, as we click around, there we go. We have a nice fade in, fade out. And I'm clicking. So as I click, click, it changes and then it sticks. So unlike the example in your book, where you hover over and things change. Um, this sticks as we click because we're really just changing classes. So there's quite a lot we can do with jQuery and with JavaScript as uh, we learn how to just swap classes and that allows us to be able to you know, do some really dynamic CSS changes to hide things or move things or resize things. And we can use jQuery elements, jQuery UI elements, and some cases to be able to animate those transitions and uh, make it pretty appealing in the way it looks. There you go.